blessed brothers and sisters of planet earth and of the united states of america and the caribbean all across the globe this is your brother patai here speaking to you across the globe all my people on the blue planet earth the blue planet earth is 75 percent water and everyone who live on it must learn to swim and as for the United States, they should teach everyone, every child that goes to school should be taught how to swim. Very important. Not only must they learn how to swim, they also need to learn how to fix all the stuff around their house. Hmm? At the first level, at the apprentice level. They need to make put in a light bulb. They need to change a faucet. They need to learn to cook. We must teach them this. We must teach them how to play with each other. We must teach them how to love. Show the beauty that they possess inside. How beautiful they are. Education is key. The other day there was a talk show. Not a talk show, but a a prize giving show on TV. You have a, a fourth grader and her mom who come there. And when they came to the show, they didn't even know a simple math question that was going to have them win a million dollars. And the math question was how many pints are there in three gallon? The fifth grader i mean the fourth grader and her mom could not figure that simple maths question in their head hmm? because even though they tell them at first that it was four um that it was four um quarts that make one gallon and two pints make one quart they couldn't figure out the mass question how many pints were there in three gallon which was 24 was the answer they lost the cool million dollar because these children and their mom and other people children too cannot calculate a simple maths question in their head without their smartphone i know we love our smartphone i love mine too you know what i'm saying i'm not taking the smartphone down the road but you got to learn how to calculate stuff in your head hmm? you got to learn how to think you got to learn stuff so before you left school you got to learn certain things in school hmm? you ain't graduating until you learn these things so you got to learn how to farm they say they're teaching you how to farm but that kind of farming is nonsense hmm? you got to learn not to work on your car you can learn that too that's necessary because we drive cars hmm? you need a welder you got to you got to learn that and because we got to learn all these things we got to learn about the style of calendar hmm? got to learn about our universe so we got to learn first aid every child got to know first age got to learn medicine at first aid level it's necessary got to learn how to save a life cpr Gotta learn how to do that before you left school. It's part of the curriculum. Hmm? Courtesy, anger management, anger management. One of the things that is learned is in the prison. As a matter of fact, in Florida prison today, it costs fifty-one million dollar for one death row inmate in one year so we need to spend this money on our children before they go to death row 
spent it here help their mothers and their fathers hmm? so when they come home from work they don't fall asleep around the dining table because you work them on this two and three job out there for them to make ends meet help the family hmm? help the trinity help the trinity they are the one who are going to pay back these zillions of dollars for the war that we keep fighting across the globe hmm? and sometimes we lose much more than what can be paid for because our life is on the line it's not about money alone but money is the vehicle that makes the world go around hmm? in financial term the world is turning on its axis and we the people don't have nothing to do with it but in the world where money is concerned money make the wheel turn here so therefore we got to equip our children with the know-how not to rob people huh now they go rob like the money hog on wall street huh selling the people social security and trading the people social security and wall street every day not that hmm? where we work together in our community to help each other service industry tech industry hmm? yes and in the process we teach the truth don't come over here with the deity and telling us to give you 10% of our earning. Huh? That we ain't spending on our children or on their education, but we are spending it on deity. Every Sunday, $3 million. Every Saturday, those who worship on Saturday, $3 million. And those who worship on Friday, $3 million. Huh? What's wrong with you? 10%. We're not even spending that on ourselves. Stop it. We need to stop that. And move forward. We are modern people. Leave those senseless things behind. And take up what means something to us. Which is our children and our children's future. Hmm? They are the ones who are going to pay the bills. So give them the equipment and the tool that they need to go forward in the future. Teach them the 42 laws of my heart. So when they come and standing up, walking with the left foot forward, trampling down evil for the heart to go forward, they will not falter or fall by the way. Huh? Of unscrupulous brothers and sisters who's trying to do them wrong. Hmm? And whenever time our brother hurt, whether in the east, west, north, or south, we all will feel the hurt. And therefore, we should live together as people of planet Earth, caring at all times about each other. Stop jeering each other and mimicking each other and talking nonsense about each other. And using deity in order to segregate the people. Huh? You gotta understand that religion is allegory. Remember that. Come over here with allegory story. Life is real. As you see it every day, it's real. For gimmicks and hism and schism cannot do it. We gotta stand up. Stand up today and onward for. The betterment of our children education hmm? that is what Jabba Pata is talking about today please and I leave you with some of these great great sisters who in the profession of education they have taught us well great Harriet Tugman one they call 
the market in the field of the Underground Railroad. Sojourner Truth, the agitator, went up to Washington, speak with the president. They kill him anyway. Huh? Then there's Rosa Parks in the civil rights era. One of them who light the fire. Huh? That helped Dr. Martin Luther King come and help blaze it all across America. Hmm? And at the end of the day, Dr. Martin Luther King lost his life on the battlefield. Rosa Parks was one of the first women to lay in the rotunda of the U.S. Capitol building. Hmm? But even though they did that, there's still bias amongst the race and amongst the sexes. Some of them hate themselves so much that they want a sex change. Hmm? And this is one of the biggest things going on in our country today. Sex change. Dr. Frankenstein making a lot of money off our people. Tricking our people into doing nonsense. Hmm? Well, as an agitator, I'm here, Jabba Pata. I don't want this to happen to our people. Hmm? And as for these wars, that I noticed that Barack Obama has come. Neither a black president nor a white president. Barack Obama is neither white nor black. But he's our president. Hmm? And we must respect them. He did a lot for us. When he came to power, he came and he inherited the economy. The worst in 50 years, they say. Our institution, our housing institution, our banking institution failed. But he brought it back without the help of the Republican Party. They wouldn't work with him. End up giving us health care. We needed that. Hmm? They didn't help him. They were out there brain and claiming that they were lifting muscles because they are elephants. Well, let me tell you something about the elephant. The elephant is one of those animals that when you do him anything bad, like they did to Barack Obama, the elephant does not forget. Remember, that's one of the creatures that never forget what you do to him. Hmm? Out of all the creatures of God and King that is lifting up their voice for us to sing. Hmm? The elephant will always remember what you do to him. Remember that. So let's not get into that. Huh? Let's stand up with each other. When he take out Bin Laden, they were standing with him then. Hmm? It was a joyful day for America that this adversary has been put low. Hmm? Now, stand up with him again. Stand with him. He's going to walk out of office, but he has left the country more in a better condition, more better than he got it without the help of the Republican Congress and also the Republican Senate and those people who hate America who want to see America harm hmm? we hand the two wars yes he did hand the two wars he promised that he was going to do it and he did it more power to his family first lady and his two beautiful daughter Hmm? Teach the children. That's what we are asking about. 100,000 died at Gettysburg. 100,000 brothers and sisters and also mutinoid died there. Let the stars and stripes fly in America. The stars and stripes is one of the beacons that defies the law 
of the world hmm? where goodness is concerned where our heart goes out like a mother heart goes out for her children and want the betterment for her children so America want the betterment for the world hmm? please brothers and sisters of the world let's come together let's stop killing each other let's stop having dead zone around the world huh where people are running from their country 60 million children 60 million children right now as i speak is on the run around the world without a home hmm? and we talking about we want to make a better future huh and a better future for herself and for her children if we want to do it let's do it let's start right now job is right here ready huh as a matter of fact i'm already doing it yeah blessed be ra job ha 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 uh ha! -huh.